here for the second game of the Greater Hartford Pro-Am Spirit of the Dock Basketball Classic. We got Hartford Public versus Wilbur Cross, New Haven versus Hartford. You know, it's always a battle. It's always gonna get little, people getting their feelings a little bit just because of the two cities. Uh, but I, we expect a great game, great sportsmanship between two uh, stalwart programs here in the state of Connecticut. You're right. Like you said, Hartford High, Wilbur Cross, that's, that's pretty much Hartford New Haven right there. It's going to be a bang out of barn burner. I look for a lot of fast-paced basketball today, up and down. It's going to be a good one today at the Greater Hartford Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. I don't, I mean, I, don't, I don't expect anything less but an exciting game today as a ball rolls and hits me right now. Absolutely. Both teams are extremely well coached, so we're going to get, take some time to interview the coaches, see what their expectations are, and then we're going to get it going. I can't wait, Brandon. That's all I can say right now. I'm kind of speechless. This is an exciting game. Let's just go. Let's just, let's talk to these coaches, get this game started, and let's see who wins. All I'm right. voting for Hartford. I'm going for Hartford. All right, well, I guess I'll take the 203 today. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. Hi. My name is JC McCauley. I'm Naisha McCauley, and, and you're, you're watching, watching AccessTV.org. We're here with Coach Wall and of Wilbur Cross just to get some insight in terms of his thoughts on today's game um, and just a little bit about how he feels about playing in the Doc Hurley. So, Coach, I was the first just to be, you know, spirit of the doc, you know, what he did, what he meant to education and, and basketball in Connecticut. Uh, you know, how do you feel about just playing in this tournament? Well, you know, we're excited to be here. You know, I called Kev up early. I wanted to get in. But the main thing, I, you know, being in the spirit of doc, you know, doc was a, one of my fraternity brothers. I heard a lot about it, never had an opportunity to meet him. But, um, you know, it means a lot. People like him keep a legacy alive. People like him and Bob Salisbury and Charlie Bentley, all those guys who kind of helped put Connecticut basketball on the map. So, you know, we're excited to be here playing against a tough Harvard public team, but it's great. You know, high school basketball is back, and we're happy to be here. So, you know, two, two weeks in, two weeks of practice. I know the kids have been playing, but, you know, how do you feel about your team and where you guys are right now? You know, obviously we got a lot of work to do, but I like their energy. I like their effort. I think they're trying to they're grasping what we're trying to give them. You know, we're trying to do it, comp, keep it complicated, keep it simple. I have some really talented ball players. Gives a lot of experience. You know, we just give them the game plan, the blueprint, and we're preaching trust the process and trust each other and just execute the game plan. But you know, they have great practices, a lot of energy, a lot of effort, two really good scrimmages. You know, it's going to be a great test, but um. You know, obviously the season doesn't hang on a win or a loss. We're just looking for a consistent effort and um, playing together as a team today. Definitely. Thank you, Coach, and good luck. Ron L. Montz, AllAccessTV.org at the Greater Hartford Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. I'm here today with Coach Lombardo. Coach Lombardo, playing in the Doc Hurley Classic, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's everything. Doc is the godfather of basketball in Hartford. I mean, I known Doc for years when we always when we played Weaver he had the biggest smile on his face and he'd be always rooting for Weaver but he'd go I got a soft spot for Harper Public too because he was a Harper guy. Yeah, he definitely was a Harper guy that's new news to me though that he had a soft spot for Harper High. He's, He's a Weaver guy but I understand what you're saying Doc was a great guy a legend. A man you know. Definitely definitely I got I, I promise I was only going to ask you two questions I asked you about the Doc Hurley Classic great answer but also what is the expectations for your team this season? Well we graduated five seniors from last year, and I took over for Reese this year. And uh, I just expect these guys to play hard, give me all they got, both in the classroom and on the floor. And I, whatever happens, it happens. We're going to play hard, though. Definitely, definitely. Hey, good luck, Coach. Thank you very all much. right, Appreciate welcome. It. Yes, Thank sir. You. All right.
here. Our Republic versus Wilbur Cross. Early turnover by the Owls. Here we go. That's one of the top guards. One of the top guards in the state here, Will Antrim. Well, we see him at college. Coming to you very soon. It's fast pace. They're looking to get after each other. Attacking good defense right there. You're going to see a lot of fast breaking. Good block. Good block. Good block. Traveling. Yeah, nothing easy today, Brandon. The governors have uh, Quan, Quani Taylor, one of the top guards here in the state of Connecticut. Looking forward to seeing him on the show today. No hair whistle. Down there, always had a solid program. Definitely. Wow. Physical Cross. game off the grip. It's physical. Wilbur Cross is being real physical out here. Luis first. Ferguson got away with a travel before the foul right there. Jaquan King, a lot of pressure on him right now. Yeah, he's going to have to settle like down. He can only go one direction. It looks he that way tell, right now. That he can, I don't think he can go the other direction. We'll see. Maybe Wilbur Cross knows something we don't know right now. Maybe that's why they forced him that way. Maybe the uh, scout report was true. Spots out. He two ball. Was by Mr. Rodriguez. Rodriguez off the mark. We got first. Will Ferguson Lewis. Harper High looking a little sloppy right now. A little out of control right now. But again, it's the first game of the season for both teams. They gotta shake all that rust off from last year. Oh my, what a take. Good finish. Right down the lane. I suspect the MVP coming in. Mr. Taylor is calling it early. Well, we'll see. Calling it early. Is that your, is that your vote for MVP early in the first quarter? I felt early, early on. Two minutes into the game. We found that one. That five was successful. Five zero early, cross up. We gotta find another ball game. Harper Hyde is to settle down, play with a little bit more patience. They look a little rattled right now. Nerves. Wilbur Cross has a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure on Harper Hyde right now, causing turnovers. I think if Harper Hyde just settles down, relax, take a deep breath. Wu Sa. Number zero, Josh Cologne. It'll be okay. Ferguson Lewis. A lot of pressure here from the cross in a 1 3 1 zone. Making Harper Pilot make decisions. Josh Cologne, fresh into the game, knocks down the three. He's feeling good. He's 100% of the season right now. Just like that, Harper High has the lead. 
That three ball is good. They're, they're doing a great job attacking that one three one. Exactly. Finding the right gaps to find the right people open. And they're this, hitting the shots. Playing this side out. It makes for easy, it makes for easy offense, easy defense. Play inside out, penetrate, kick out to your shooters. And as a result, like I said, Harper High is up by one point when they were just down 5-0. That's the second team foul. Shout out football Steve and Rob Campbell. Two on one. Good pass, you gotta make the layup. Those opportunities like that don't come often. You gotta make them when you have them. That was a good idea, the two on one. They just didn't finish. You gotta execute. Greater Harper Pro Am accent, Greater Harper Pro Am High School Basketball Classic. Why not, Miles? I'm here with Brandon Frame. The second game of a, a day full filled with uh, exciting basketball. With the headline, the headliner game at 8 o'clock tonight between Hill House and Weaver. I'm but excited first, for that one. Definitely. That's an eight on right that here. should pack the building. It should be excited for that late that game later on tonight. But first things first, this Wilbur, Wilbur Cross Harper High game is uh, pretty yeah, good. Harper High showed a little composure, settled down. Now they got a three point lead. We got a jump Real ball. Physical. Jump you wouldn't expect anything less from a Hartford New Haven rivalry. Good sportsmanship on the court. We got subs coming in the game, number 21, Sherman Perry. Number two, Joy Twiller. And number four, Shaquille Foreman. Four minutes left here in the first quarter. Eight to five, Harford High up over the Governors. Jaquan King with the foul. He got lost down there in the land of the trees. Foul number one, Jaquan King. Left with no other option but the foul. But like we talk every year, we say this all the year, but for the year, for the young fellas, the young kids, free throws. Free throws win games. Miss free throws, loses games. Ball for the first. Four minutes to take his time a little bit, bend his knees, follow through, and knock these down. Free throws are very, very important. Is that pressure from Wilbur Cross. Pressure breaks pipes. On the line, we got Pruitt. And Joel Pruitt Jr. over the Will Antrim Jr. No call, good defense. Antrim looking for a foul right there. He has to be a little bit more physical and concentrate a little bit more so he can make that, finish that layup. Over the Ten push-ups and twenty push-ups right there. <laughs> you gotta be strong on that layup right there. <laughs> Can't be afraid to finish. Inside outside game for the cross. In result, three. The cross court pass. Inside outside game has been working good for Harper High. Don't force it. Will Andrew Jr. pushing it in his LRB 
Noon. Antrim's a big point guard out there, but he like he uh, can handle the rock. Yeah, the Definitely pushed that situation right there and dropped the dime on. And uh <laughs> Foreman tried to take that over the rim right there. Nice big body, he's kind of versatile. Versatile. I'm going to run the bring point. Bring ball up and then like his big body down yeah. low is a little hard to deal I'm gonna with. I'm going to take it on the block. I'm going to put it on there. 11, Mark Sometimes those are the best type of players I have on your team. The players Second that are the most five. talented that can do some of everything on the court. Five. A little of everything. But you got to knock the ball. Also the first, checking into the game for the public number 14 is number four. Antrim versus the second. We got a 9 8 ball game, 2 20. You guys are here in the background. First quarter. Shaq with the announcing. Street ball in one type announcing a little different flow to the high school basketball game. Great way to open up the high school basketball season in Connecticut. At the Greater Harper Pro Am High School Basketball Brandon Classic. Taylor. As Taylor knocked down that three. I don't know, Brandon. Your prediction may be right. Early MVP candidate. Kwame Taylor for Wilbur Cross as he pushes the rock up. Let's see what he does. Taylor off the mark. A little short on the layup right there. I think he got five. Ball stays with the governors. by Taylor to the top of the key out of bounds. Rebound. Cross playing some aggressive defense, trapping all over the court. Forcing to travel. A lot of times you put that pressure on, it makes the other team have to think. Seven seconds left here in the first quarter. Wilbur Cross up 15 to 10 over Hartford Public. Fast, fast, fast pace first Go quarter. Here, nice fast pace. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to kind of get to the rack, make open shots. I see Taylor's a player out here. Player out here. He's finding all his players, finding his teammates for easy buckets. He's making easy buckets for himself. Nineteen 
12, Wilbur Cross at the Greater Harbor Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. All Access TV org, Ronnell Montz, Brandon Frame. It's the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in a second with words from my sponsor. Greater Harbor Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. Oh yeah. Jose Colon controlling it for the pod. He's got one of the Colon. trying to move the ball against the zone. Find an open shooter. Knockdown. He's knocking down his three. When they get an open look, they've been knocking him down. When you move the ball like that, you get good shots. You make that defense move, you'll find that opening. Josh knocked that one down. Answering for three. I don't know, Brendan. I know we said uh, that uh, Taylor looks like the possible MVP candidate early. Answer might have something to say about that. He's in every play of every game, every, every possession. He's showing inside, outside. He just showed a jump hook a few plays ago. Now he's knocking down threes, running the point, getting rebounds down low in the paint. My type of player. He's somebody you always want to get to him. My type of player. He also wore my high school number 24. So, you know, I'm a little biased. I'm still going for Harper High in this battle, right? I think Harper High pulled it off. Plus, I'm from Harper, so I, can, I gotta go for Harper when it comes to Harper New Haven game. Andrew was real fluid with that ball. Joe, pulling. He's pulling that. That's the ball. Harper High standing around. Wilbur Cross getting a loose ball. You gotta, you gotta attack. Oh! You gotta attack that rebound if you want that rebound. It's not gonna come to you. A little bit of sloppy play, but see if we get it back under control. Nice hezzy move. Jakey Foreman. Wow. Foreman down low. Nice move down there. Like a grown man down there. Yeah. I'm like, that's what Cologne does. It shoots threes. It look good. It just looks short. Stop pass off the bar. Traveling violation. Trying to do this a little too much. Fast pace game. Definitely. We got a timeout. We're going to get a word from our sponsor. Five minutes and 40 seconds up here in the second quarter. We were and, uh, with that I think Cross might try to pull away. Definitely up by 11 right now. A big reason for that is because of Antrim and Foreman. Good defense. Good defense by Foreman. The referee felt that was an offensive foul right there. Time to take the 21 Sherman period. That's his second. 
Team seven. Harper High needs to settle down. Relax. And get back into this game. It's still early. Let's see what Antrim does. I like, I like Antrim to size him up right here, break him down, and go to the rack. Good idea. Got to be a little bit more under control. Good deep. Good pass. Good kick out. Let's knock this three down. Off the bar. No, not boy. Antrim has a soft touch, so that ball bounces on that rim right there. It's always going to have a good chance to fall. Good pass. You got to make the layup. You got to make the layup. Inside, outside, guys. Antrim push the rock. Good block. Give me those. And let's run. Shoot on the euro. Just a little bit short on the euro. Wilbur we'll Cross, half or high. Wilbur we'll Cross with 11 point lead. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Ronnell Mons, Brandon Frame. All Access TV. At the Greater Harford Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. We just Trinity still getting started. Trinity College. We still getting started right here, Brent. It's only the second game of the day. Three more to go. It's live action in the building. This is a real nice event for the city of Hartford, state of Connecticut, city of Hartford. Doc Hurley wouldn't have had it no other way. Kevin Kersky, the organizer, the promoter, puts on a great event. We have a lot of good sponsors in the building. Tamika Martin of the Dinell Diggs Martin Foundation. She's in the building today doing a lot of good things for the community. Free blood pressure readings. Exquisite events by Mika. My name is Jay Stan McCauley, and uh, I do business as Light Source Productions. I provide professional services in the area of strategic video communications. Uh, first, what we do is we help you craft your message uh, using what I call the rule of the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We do event documentation, uh, content acquisition, full-scale productions, um, editing, and, of course, distribution uh, through our social media television network. And with social media, uh, video is more important now than it has ever been. Uh, whether you're talking big business, small business, nonprofit, church, or just an individual. Uh, let's say you, you know you you plan uh, uh, you're planning an event, a wedding, whatever the case may be. But but let's say a big event, uh, but no video. And you spent all this time, all these hours, uh, to put this event on, and maybe a hundred, two hundred people attend the event. But more important than that is that thousands could attend by watching it on social media. But of course, you don't think about this until after the event is over. You can't afford not to capture it for social media. And despite what people think, I am affordable. Give me a call. Let's plan your next video project and share it with the world on my social media television network. I promise you that you will have the attention of one person, me. These are the monsters of the road. Ever drive alongside a tractor trailer in the rain? Scary. You're hoping they don't change lanes. Now they see you, now they don't. This monster can crush you in an instant. They may be insured for millions, but you're not thinking of that in a dangerous situation. I'm attorney Jeffrey Dresden. Have an accident, you know what to do. Because this is what we do. 24-7, 11, 22. 26, 17. You know, Brandon Harper High is um, it's, it's rich in history. But you know, they also, I, I have to give it, I'm a, I'm a Weaver Beaver. 
I bleed green all day, every day. I just have to throw that disclaimer out there before I start really talking about her for high right now. And I'll say it again, I bleed green. But um, I got to get take my hat off to them. They're probably one of the better teams, one of the best teams in the state of Connecticut all time. Especially when you go back to the days of Marcus Canby and Kendrick Moore. Those guys were deadly, talented, and they had undefeated, undefeated championship season, back-to-back -back championships. Kendrick Moore went on to play at Missouri. Marcus Candy went on to play at UMass. He was a star in the league in UMass. Toronto, New York Knicks, Houston Rockets, Denver Nuggets. Make sure you get a free like how much like prep school and private school right in the corner by the right. National Guard and Metro right. Pacific so Band. It's going to be that way. Mm -hmm. Now kids, you know, with, with okay. high level, Good. high major talent, sure. like, right. this is really fine. And in the state of Connecticut in particular, they're going to like their local high school. Right. Right. They're not as common as much. Right, they're going to prep schools. And plus with, with the, uh, the choice yeah. movement, all the schools, their big expansion of high schools in the city of Hartford, in the state of Connecticut, you know, a lot of these players are spread out now. They're not just staying to that, they're their local hometown team schools. So like you said, yeah, the prep schools and different private schools. The talent is definitely spread out. But I have to take my hat off the Harper High, definitely a uh, school rich in uh, tradition. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about Harper High. Because I bleed green, so I don't want to talk too much about that blue. But. I give credit where credit's due. Absolutely, that's very important. Three minutes and 47 seconds left. 29, six, 29, 18. The governors of Wilbercross over the Isles of Harper Public. Shot right there. That was like a fourth shot right there. You gotta have a little bit more patience on offense. Attack the rack, but definitely be a little bit more patient. Papa I run a little offense. Saying his name right, that's Dale. Oh, if Harper High is not careful, they're going to get blown out of the building. Intro. Over cross came to play. Young Rock Boy scores it. Antrim with the half hook, half floater. Over cross playing defense. He's doing it in the offense. Harper probably didn't have an answer. You don't have an answer. Answer. When you're playing That's good right. defense, you don't, really don't have an answer for those two guys. Playing good defense like that, it makes it real tough to get your offense off. Harper High regrouping, calling a timeout, hitting that reset button.
Blocker, a little showboat though. Jake Lock Queen flexing out here. It's still early. The guys are still down by 13. Put those muscles down. Let's go get you. Exactly. Knock down his free throws. Free throws. Exactly. Flex at the end of the game. That's one play right there. You're down by 13 still. And he knocks down the three point, makes a three point play. The old fashioned way. We got 33, 21 more game, under two minutes. To the first half. Andrew, off the top of the game, Terrence Edwards. Terrence Edwards, we got that. Zach Randolph. Harper High has to do a better job of boxing out. Give Wilbur Cross his one shot. They got him beaten size so into the game. Yeah, the governors are a little bigger. But it looks like Wilbur Cross has a little bit more heart. A little bit more tenacity. Like they wanted a little bit more right now. But it's only the first half. Let's see if Harper High can turn this around. Hello. Inside outside game. Knocked down another three. Armani Gonzalez. Harper High pushing the rock up. Gotta be smart with it because he's still got an attack. Under a minute left. The second quarter. Harper High, let's see if I can finish the quarter off. Finish the half off. Strong. Can't reach. You gotta keep your hands in the car. You cannot reach. Five governors up over the aisles. 43 seconds left in the second quarter. The aisles cutting into this lead. Trying to get it down to maybe five points by the half. We're going to have to step up on that defense and attack that racket offense. And not give up second chances. Like second that. chance shots. I'm a grown man down here. I'm a smack boys on you for the end one. J. Keen Foreman. Foreman is showing, making his presence down there. Phil. They don't really have an answer for him. He's bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Than everybody on Harper High. Six three senior. A little size on him. Speaking to the coach earlier, they graduated five players last year, so you know Harper High is a young team this year. We're gonna have to uh, learn by being put in situations throughout the season. Foreman 
was the reason Harper High on that possession could not score. Foreman played real physical and big down there, made it real yeah. tough for Harper High right there. Someone's like, once he decides to like, I'm about to turn it on y'all. He does it, they don't really have They don't have an answer for him, no. When he decides to like, you know, I'm going to impose my will on the game. Well, my grown man is, put my grown man on that floor on the floor and uh, see what you can do. Got an injury on the court right here. Once again, we are in Josh three. Cologne. That's the key word. Like he twisted three. his ankle. Health screen. Halftime. Put some ice on that. Get it rewrapped up. Sure. Get Coach Dawkins. Kwame Taylor at the line knocks down one. Then two to extend the lead to a 12 point lead at halftime of the Greater Hartford Pro Am High School Basketball Classic in the spirit of Doc. Ronnell Mons, Brandon Frame, allaccesstv.org. Oh, yeah. Action, Wilbur Cross versus Harvard Public. Wilbur Cross up 12, 38, 26. Where I'm from, that don't, that don't. Gotta nah, get his sprite. You gotta, you gotta get up a little higher right there, man. You can't get hung like that, man. What do you call it? Get sprited. Gotta obey your thirst. I mean. Obey your thirst, young man. Obey the thirst. Maybe he'll get it back. Maybe he'll get it back. Maybe. So many second chance shots. You know, like Hartford Public is really not doing a great job with the boxing out. If it's not, if it's not a clear cut rebound, like just the then it's kind of like not against. Exactly. You gotta box out first, then go get the ball. Put a body on somebody. The rebound. But on the other hand, Wilbur Cross is getting two shots, three shots. He got fouled right there. The referee didn't call it. He's got to play through it and be tough. But now let's see if he makes up for this one right here, Brandon. He's got to make up for it. And um, I don't know, Brandon. Maybe he should just go for the finger roll. Then come back on defense. Hoffa High knocked down a three. I think the coach. One point game. Right there, I know if I was the coach, I'd definitely sub them. And there's two dunks right here. That's four points right there and a three-point shot. But this Dale came through and knocked down a three right here. Oh. Got to be a win. Got to be a win. Well, the coach has faith in form, and he's going to stay in the game. He's not being subbed out. Let's see if he gets another opportunity to flush one down. Yeah. Can't get hung twice in the same game. Right now, to to Try to force it in there. 
and result turnover. Sherman Perry with the rock, showing he can dance, nearly loses it. Finds the shooter from downtown. Let the guards do all that dancing. The hustle out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Owls. Tiquan King running quarterback with Owls. Finds the shooter. I haven't really seen anybody from Harper High step up. Into the middle of the zone. I don't think they have no one that's like, that's the guy. Yeah, I haven't seen that person at all yet. Oh, wow. They got a great team. Yeah. Yeah. Nice team. Everybody knows what they do. So how to get things done. Right, right. I think the referee missed that call right there. I don't know about that, that charge right there. I don't think he was there. Vince Carter. We still, we still haven't seen something like that since that time. Since that time, you're right. That, like, nobody's still ever done that. It was kind of the guy is like, the guy was 7 7'3". A grown 7'3", man. That was crazy. Yeah. Great. That's the greatest dunk of all time, in my opinion. I, the only one that comes close that was like really bad. There's a few. There's uh, the one, uh, DeAndre Jordan. Oh, that, that lob, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, we like, that was bad. That was bad. That, that, was, that, that, was, that was bad. That was bad. I when I saw that one, I was like, oh, that's disrespectful. I forgot the name of the person he banged on like that, but he should have retired after that. <laughs> They'll knock down another three. Yeah, knock it down Too much jelly on the road, good defense. Sick of heart is pulling Mr. away. King, they turn Scott the rock. Mid -range. Tough shot, who wants it? Good hustle, Lots though. Lots of physical plays scrapping. Referee's going to jump ball. 44-29. Wilbur Cross up over Hartford High. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Hartford High is trying to, I mean, Wilbur Cross is trying to pull away. Maybe we get some of the bench plays from action. You're up by 15 right now, so we'll see if Harper High can uh, get it together, show a little bit more poise. They need to attack the right. Somebody needs to step up for Harper High. We know who's stepping up for Whip Wilbur Cross. Harper High has no individual identity right now stepping up. Nobody wants to take charge right now. Tommy Taylor, Faz out of control over the Antrim. Antrim's been cool since the first quarter. He's cooled down a little bit. Started the game off very hot. Yes, he did. Sherman Perry took a little initiative and tried to attack and make something happen. But he just came up a little too short, a little too strong on that attempt. Checking in. Your box out. Said That's one of the differences in the game. Is second chance shots has been a, been a huge difference. In the game. Second chance shots for Wilbur Cross. As Harper Heisen is getting one shot and Wilbur Cross is clearing the, back, clearing the board and going. Wilbur Cross is doing a great job keeping Harper High off the boards. As Foreman gets real physical down low, a little push and shove down there. Let's watch that matchup between Foreman. <laughs> matchup between Foreman and Harvey. Taylor with the, with the two, make it look real easy. Harper High with the timeout. Well deserved timeout. Well needed timeout, I should say. At the Greater Harvard Pro Am High School Basketball Classic, Rondell Moss, Brandon Frame, all access TV.org. We're in the building. Oh, yeah.
Club is on the line. Trying to put the fork in up early. A lot of time, about 325 remaining in the third. This is the second of a after the timeout, we'll cross up 4829 on Harper High, on accesstv.org, Greater Harper Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic, in the spirit of Doc. A great event being put on today by Kevin Kersky and the Greater Harper Pro-Am team. In the spirit of Doc Hurley, a legend, a great, will never ever be forgotten. And again, folks, we're still petitioning for that statue to be put up of the great, late Doc Hurley. Well deserved, well needed. Wilbur Cross slowly creeping up on a 20 point lead right now. Trying to take the air out of Harper High real slowly. Antrim with the move, good move to the basket. Good move to the basket. I think he might be the... Right now, he is the well. Point in between Foreman and Antrim right now. That's the MVP. And like you had to ask me, I would give it to Antrim because he showed a lot of versatility. Inside and outside. It's starting to get, it's starting to get ugly. It's starting to get real ugly. It's getting real Craig Mackish in here. Trying to solve this press. Give me that. Oh, razzle dazzle, spinning and winning, layups Play for days. Silly foul by Foreman right now. That was a, that's what I call an anxious foul right there. Jakey Foreman. Wilbur Cross came to play today. They didn't take this 30 ride, this 30 minute ride for nothing. Reflection out of bounds, possession stays with Hunt for Public. I don't want to say this game is over at all, because I don't think it's over. But Hartford High, the way it's looking right now, look, they're giving up. There's some young boys in the game, giving some experience. Looking like their will is being deflated get right ready. now, and get ready for game two. What the season. It's a long season, last game. It's a 20 game season, yeah. But you still have this, uh, the beginning of the season like this, you need to see what you got in a game like this, where it's pretty much a blowout almost. Almost going into the fourth quarter. You definitely need to see what you got on your bench and see if some of these young players can help you out. Almost back there. Overcross almost up by 20, still diving on the floor, still playing tough. The defense playing aggressive. And honestly, that's the difference between winning and losing. That's the difference between being a champion and not a champion. When you want to just dig deep and dive on the floor, play hard and play aggressive every play, whether you're up 20 or whether you're up one, it doesn't matter. And down to Exactly. Hey, 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 and, and, and Harper High is just so much to ah. lose by the three. Like, they can't really get anything else with Well, I think that's because Foreman has the, the post, the uh, paint locked down. And he's a grown man down there. Except for the two plays where he got hung at. I don't think he was a grown man on those plays. I think he was just a senior in high school on those two plays. But other than that, I don't think Harper High wants to bring it into him because he's shutting that middle down throughout the course of the game. And I don't see it stopping. As Antrim just shows his versatility. Play a little bit of point, get the ball up, bring it up, run the offense. Skip pass. Another three. That's there. I don't know. He has about four threes today. He is hot on that perimeter. 
Harper High looks like they want to settle for another three-point shot or a long jump shot. It's one of the worst shots in basketball right there. A shot that's a foot in between the three-point line. Out of control right there. My, my guy Antrim to the basket with the cuff. <laughs> Taylor with the finish. No, I'm not saying they're giving up, but they're just, just playing. They just. Well, I'll say it for you. They're giving up. Aaron passes like that. That's they're, that's they're not good. Flustered. They're flustered. You said it earlier. Pressure bus pipes. But we'll be cross. A lot of pressure with that. Zone, a lot of pressure with that, those traps, a lot of pressure on offense. Looks like Harper High is folding. Let's see if Wilbur Cross can finish this half off, traveling play. I don't know if I want to give Harper High the credit on that or just say that he made a mistake on that play. I don't know. Wilbur Cross 59, Harvard Republic 31. We get ready for the fourth quarter action to see well, Harvard Republic can maybe to turn around. The game's not over. It's not. It's not over. So they say they can do it in the next eight minutes. It's not over, but we'll see what happens. Now some insurance companies brag that they could be on the scene of the accident right after it happens. Whose interest do they have in mind? Yours? I don't think so. You may be one paycheck between you and the street. You have three children work in another town. You need that car and you need it fast. If you have an accident, call me. Attorney Jeffrey Dressler, 24-7-11-22. Growing up, I never felt pretty. I never felt like I was just beautiful. I did not think I was beautiful. I started to look at myself as not pretty because my skin was dark. Dark skin was equal to being ugly and light skin was equal to being beautiful. I don't know, I just, I, I never felt like I was enough. But when they saw me with makeup and with my hair all done, people treat you completely different. What is it about me? Why can't I be beautiful? Fourth quarter action, the start of the fourth quarter, almost a backcourt. Wilbur Cross, 59, Harper High, 31. Wilbur Cross with a lot of pressure right now, forcing turnovers. Harper High has to step up right now to see if they can cut into this big deficit that they're down right now. And the only way they're going to do that is by playing tough defense, getting rebounds, giving Wilbur Cross one shot, not two and three possessions. Make him any cut into this lead and make it a game. That's Darius Enzo with the mop. Mark Fenty at the line shooting two. Not so now the first. 59, 32, 7 minutes, 38 seconds left. Wilbur Cross up over Harper High. Second game of the Greater Harper Pro-Am, Spirit of the Dot Basketball. Last okay. The small, see those, those are like, those are big laps. That's a big lap. Those are killer plays. Like, like how do you miss that? You're trying to make a run and then something even like, like that Even on the coach, like, how do you miss that? You shouldn't miss. You gotta see those things. That shouldn't happen. It's called awareness. Knowing what's on the court, who's on the court. Awareness. Second game of the Greater Harvard Pro-Am High School Basketball Classic. I tell you what, Brandon, the third game is going to definitely be a bomb burner. Bonefield versus Prince Tech. Prince Tech has some studs on their team. One in the name of Dale Sean Jackson Jr. His father, Deshaun Jackson, put up remarkable numbers while he was at Prince Tech. And his son's doing the same thing right now. I look for him to put a show on today. 
for his first game of the season. Traveling violation by Terrence Edwards. Some heart behind telegraph. The kid getting past his press. They got a lot of work to do. Too much pressure. They got a lot of practice to have. Little cross put a lot of pressure on heart behind, making him turn the rock over. And then they get easy buckets on offense. As a result, they're almost up by 30. Trapping, good pressure. Park behind looks very rattled under all this pressure. Look across, just picks it up. Even though that was a sloppy fast break right there, that's what happened in all game. Lots of pressure on our behind. Look across, just been running and scoring. Pressed by Wilbur Cross with a lot of pressure trapping. Once that trap is applied, off a high has to go better job of handling it. Wow. Draws the foul. Fouls on the church Edwards. That's the score. That's the 16th foul. At the line, Curtis and Lewis shooting two. Ferguson Lewis. That's what he looks like to me a little bit anyway, Davies. 
Just a little bit. Good move. Good move. The spin cycle. The spin cycle. Good tough move right there. Darius as Dolly, sophomore. As Dolly is a player. Okay, this is a sophomore. Like I said earlier, he has like four, five threes already this game. A nice spin cycle move right there. Well, Brandon, three minutes, 55 seconds left in the game. You know I got action. Who's your MVP right now? Um, we know it's coming from Wilbur Cross, so who's your MVP right now? I like uh, my man uh, uh, Andrew. You like Andrew? That's my guy, Andrew. But you know Andrew's throwing off real hot in the first half. He's been quiet for the rest of the game. He only had like one bucket in the second half. Right now, I would have to give it to Foreman. Foreman, Foreman, definitely. You're right. He to deserves it. Besides, we're getting hung twice. Yeah, yeah, besides but, you know, that, I think that we might be able to forgive those. Besides him being a senior in high school, not that grown man that he was throughout the whole game, those two hungs right there, those two hangs, that, was not, uh, that wasn't cool at all. But if I had to choose an MVP from Wilbur Cross, it would be him shutting down the middle. Huff High don't even want anything with the middle. That's why he's shooting all these threes. And he's a man now. He's a man on the boards. He's definitely a grown man on the boards, offense and defense. So that's what my MVP would be. Taylor's another one that's a kid in it as well. I would think it'd be out there too. Taylor or uh, lost my train of thought. Antrim, Ferguson, or, or, or Taylor as one of the foreman, I'm sorry, as one of the three possible MVPs. As Wilbur Cross clears their bench. Actually, they put one of the starters back in the game. They're not letting up. Make sure you get some senior leadership out there just to coast it through. Make sure you get some guys, get some shots in action. Because well, you never know, they might be able to do what they want to see. You never right. know what happens. Right. So you need to get that game action right now so that you can see what it's like. Exactly. Exactly. Especially in a stage like this. Where the lights are on in the Greater Harbor Pro Am High School Basketball Classic and the Spirit and Doc. This is a stage right here. So if you can play well on this stage, all those other games should be a cakewalk. Oh, he gets the roll. Soft wins. Here at Trinity. Hey, hey, Okay, rebound. 
Referee let letting him play. Like, hey, get this over with. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. Let's get this over with so we can get out of here. Good pass, good idea. Oh, he got to finish. Still got it. Good work, good hustle. <laughs> good hustle. Way to stay with it. Number, we're going to call him number 33 because we don't have his name on the roster right now. So we're just going to call him number 33. We're going to call him Agent 33 I'm right so, now. That was hilarious. <laughs> the announcer of the day will call him number 33. <laughs> We're gonna call him Agent 33. We're gonna put a little, we're gonna put a little, a little pizzazz, Agent a little 33 twist. 33 with the bucket. His name is in the paper, too. His name is Everybody in the paper. Everybody get their name in the paper. Yeah, it's Everybody not Agent 33, 33 the but we're gonna call him Agent 33 for this broadcast right here. So Agent 33 with that bucket a couple of plays ago. Nice flashes, some good offense right now, good defense. Keep their confidence up for the rest of the season. Just the first game right now. You got the whole season ahead of you. Can't get crossed like that, young man. Oh, he's the shooter that's coming up, he's number 25. In the paper as well, let's go. Jose Feliciano, he's a senior. They call him the shooter. Up and in. I'm, Mike, like, I'm, I'm Mike Fergus Lewis. But that's not Fergus Lewis. That's Fergus, Fergus Lewis, I should say. AKA Dave East. 20 seconds left. Cross up 77 to 51. Fergus Lewis on the drive. Big rebound. Good rebound by Agent 33. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. 77 to 51. Wilbur Cross over a Harper High. Let's go down and take an interview with uh, the MVP for today. We're going to find out who that is in a few minutes. Beauty no longer became like a physical thing for me. It became like an internal thing. I had to find beauty with inside of me. My beauty literally runs skin deep. Nobody can define that for somebody else um, if you are being true to who you are. I now know that beauty isn't just what you see. You know, I know that it's all about the things that you possess inside. You know, my, my biggest, biggest request is that I can use my purpose to help people redefine their beauty. 
So I believe that the ultimate definition of, of love is sacrifice, but I also think that that's what makes you beautiful. Ronnell Mons, allaccesstv.org. I'm here with the MVP of the third annual Greater Hartford Pro-Am High School Basketball Cl Classic in the spirit of Doc. Mr. Antrim, I'm gonna call you Mr. Antrim, because honestly, you were my pick for the MVP before. Once I saw that you could play a little bit of everything on the court, a little bit of point guard, a little bit of small forward, all that type of stuff, I said to my man Brandon right here that that's gonna be the MVP. Tell me, what, tell me about how do you feel about winning the MVP for this Classic, this tournament? I feel good about it, you know. Got to um, show off for my teammates, for the fans, especially my parents. They helped me with a lot, especially my teammates, though. They, they did a real good job for me. What are your, what are your hopes for the season right here, for the rest of the season going? This is your first game of the season right now. What are your hopes and aspirations for the rest of the season? I think we're going to have a real good season, um, real successful, win a lot of games, beat a lot of teams on defense. Okay. There you got it. Will Antrim, the MVP of the third annual Greater Hartford Plurium Classic in the spirit of Doc. Good luck for the rest of the season. All right. Take it easy. All right. Hey, we're closing out the second game of the Greater Harvard Pro Am Spirit of the Dock Scholarship Basketball Classic. Uh, we had a, uh, it was, it started off, you know, pretty competitive. Then it, it got a little, you know, Wilbur Cross started to pull away. Just the, the will of the post, um, the guard play, just moving right. the ball, fast break action, the pressure on defense. Right. Really just was a lot for Harper how to handle today. Right. They put up a good fight, but it just didn't have enough to match Wilbur Cross and what they brought to the table. Right, Harper High being a young team. Like I said, speaking to the coach earlier, they graduated five players, so they're pretty young. So Wilbur Cross exposed that today. And it was shown, Will Antrim, the MVP of the classic today, the tournament today, he really showed both, that he could play on both ends of the court. But as a team effort, Wilbur Cross definitely did a good job today and exposed the youth of Harper High, unfortunately. Because again, I bleed green. I'm from Hartford. I chose Harper High to win today, but they fell a little short today. And uh, I wish I wish uh, Wilbur Cross the best of luck for the rest of the season. Definitely, I think we'll see good things. Look forward to seeing Harper High improve as the season goes on. Let's see Wilbur Cross probably going to be a force down in the SEC. Right, I expect um, that. So uh, we'll, we'll look forward to see what they do. But great game today. Congrats to both teams on a job well done. And we get ready for this next game. My name is Jay Stan McCauley, and uh, I do business as Light Source Productions. I provide professional services in the area of strategic video communications. Uh, first, what we do is we help you craft your message uh, using what I call the rule of the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We do event documentation, uh, content acquisition, full-scale productions, um, editing, and of course, distribution uh, through our social media television network. And with social media, uh, video is more important now than it has ever been. Uh, whether you're talking big business, small business, nonprofit, church, or just an individual. Uh, let's say you, you know you you plan a, a, you're planning an event, a wedding, whatever the case may be. But but let's say a big event, uh, but no video. And you spend all this time, all these hours, uh, to put this event on, and maybe a hundred, two hundred people attend the event. But more important than that is that thousands could attend by watching it on social media. But of course, you don't think about this until after the event is over. 
you can't afford not to capture it for social media. And despite what people think, I am affordable. Give me a call. Let's plan your next video project and share it with the world on my social media television network. I promise you that you will have the attention of one person, me.